So you're a riveter.
off, run out. Let's look this place over. Hey, Bruno, here's something you'd like. Buffalo phones. <laughs>
my souvenirs. Bush. 
the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go, run the mulberry bush. <laughs> the mulberry bush. <clears throat> Good morning, General. Uh, did you see a little guy that you can't see? Uh, that's funny, General. He's around here somewhere. <clears throat> I wonder where he could. Oh! can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's around here skipping rope. I'll get him. Stop. Wait a minute. Dude, stop. No, no, man. No, no. Don't. There's no one here. Oh, there he is. Steady, boy. Steady. Take it easy. There's nobody there. He's right behind no, you. No, it's only Let me at him. Let me at him. No, no, now calm yourself. Don't stop me. Please, easy now. Calm yourself. Let me at him. Let me at him. General, did I ain't crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> spring, loveliest time of the year. Oh, let us away to skip and play, for the spirit of spring is here. Awake, awake to its fairy ring. Hark, let's respond to the call of spring. more fragrant among all things than the smell of trees in the early spring. <laughs> can play. Here's to springtime any day.
spring, spring, spring. Wonderful, wonderful spring time. Tra la la la, tra la 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 la. Uh oh. Hurry, hurry, lest thou be late to thy rearranged fate. Oh, spin, spin, spin without questioning. Spin thy cloak for evolutioning. Hang, hang in suspended animation till comes the call for observation. springtime rain floating earthward once again soft misty dew from clouds on high a moistening link twixt earth and sky to drink thy freshness never fail all hail to springtime hail 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 oh gentle showers thou art god how sad to see thy end. Sprague's happy spirit, thou pipes his birth. Let us rejoice again. Oh, dance to springtime's joyous calling and trance a bit sweet dewdrops falling. Leave high in air amidst the breezes. Oh, happy time, joy never ceases. <laughs>
Down where the mighty Amazon winds its way through the heart of Brazil, we find many strange and exotic species of flora and fauna. For instance, this odd-shaped basket of... Oh, <laughs> uh, this happens to be the Dasipodidae, or armadillo, sometimes pronounced armadillo, but affectionately nicknamed tattoo. ability to dig in at lightning speed, we find him equally at home either below or above the ground. The little armadillo, tattoo to you, is a very timid creature, and at the slightest noise, even the drop of a pin, he snaps into a solid ball, becoming, so to speak, a hard nut to crack. When satisfied that the coast is clear, he unrolls his one-man top and proceeds on his way. Another strange creature often found in this region is the Turista Americana, or American Tourist. Oh, oh, oh! Fifteen minutes stopover in Belém. All passengers, fifteen minutes. Come on, Poodle. Stretch your legs. <laughs> That's it.
after night. How long must we suffer thus? What do you want? A Mozart musical instrument. Will you please stop? As 
they say, is that. <laughs> Mm. Pleasant dreams, Joke. Mm. Oh, boy, doggy boggy. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? What? Who never dream of starting a fight? Gotcha. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. Miss Daisy Duck, please tell me what happened in your own words. Well, Doctor, I came to tell you about my boyfriend, Donald Duck. Now, now, madam, no names. All right, Doctor. Well, one beautiful spring day, Donald, uh, I mean, my boyfriend and I were walking in the park. Now in the window on the 99th floor of a tall building, was a beautiful flower in a pot. It toppled out of the window and fell like a meteor. Right on my boyfriend's head. I tried to revive him. Finally, he came to and looked at me. I smiled back reassuringly, and then it happened. It seemed as though we were hearing some strange voice. Donald Duck, you are the greatest singer in the world. With that, he got up, dusted himself off, gave me a low, gracious bow, and started to sing. When you wish upon a star Shining brightly from afar Stood enchanted, tears fill my eyes. Will come to you. As he finished, I applauded. I was so proud of him. But when I rushed forward to clasp his hand, he gave me a cold, icy stare, as though he didn't know me. And before I could say how I request, he was snatched up by a famous theatrical agent. The flower from his head fell at my feet, a symbol of my lost love. I took it home. I put it in a vase on the mantel. It was all I had to remember him by, because I never saw him again after that day, except in advertising, on labels, in society columns, and on flashing marquees. If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star, his golden voice on the radio only made it harder to bear. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I didn't want to live. I was going crazy, man. by a newsboy's voice. Donald Duck sings in person tonight at Radio City. I rushed for my rap. This would be his first public appearance, my first chance to see him. But by the time I reached Radio City, a long line of humanity had formed. And I was too late to get inside. So I went to the rear and waited at the stage door. At last I should see him. But no, how 
Cat formed and blocked my view. Thousands clamored to get his autograph. Hoping to get a glimpse of him, I waited through the summer and through the winter. I walked out front, where at least I could see his picture. Donald, speak to me. By the time summer came again, I was determined to see him. To get by the doorman, I first tried pleading. Disguise, force. All with the same result. But as I was coming home that night, I met him face to face. Donald, darling, I've missed you terribly. I'm so happy for you. But he gave me that same cold, icy stare again. I fell at his feet and poured out my soul to him. Oh, tears. I told him I was hungry and starving for his love. So he threw me a dime and continued on his way. But as soon as I gained control of myself, I decided it was time to come to see you, Doctor, for a solution to my problem. Well, it's obvious the hit on the head caused your boyfriend to go through a complete mental and physical change. I can help you. But first, you have a big decision to make. Do you want the world to have him and his beautiful golden voice? Or do you want him back again for yourself? It's either the world or you. Me! 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 <laughs> me! Please calm yourself, Miss Duck. Here is my professional advice. I suggest you take that same flower, put it in a heavy pot, and then put it And if he should... Then now you understand. Thank you, Doctor. I'll do it tonight. Stars are kind. They bring to those who love the sweet fulfillment of their secret love like a bolt.
I can't understand a word you say. Beat it. Gotcha. <laughs> Some 
How dare you use such language in my presence? So you can't sell brushes? Because no one understands a word you say? Yes. Don't worry, Donald. Don't give up. I have faith in you. <laughs> Go out and try again. <laughs> Listen, Mac, don't come around here mumbling like an idiot. <laughs> several. Thank you, madam. Did someone say brushes? I'll take one. Me too. You can I'll three. Three. I'll I'll three. Three. Now I can ask Daisy to <laughs> be my wife. <laughs> Only one left. I must save it at all cost. Take when I propose to Daisy. I waited all my life for this moment. I will now go in and ask her to be my... the idea. I thought I told you I hate people. Good afternoon, ma'am. Sign out there. It says no trespassing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My dear fellow, I can't understand a word you say. <laughs>
Doran Fantarib Normandy Popana.
while a million guitars When I said I love you Every beat of my heart said it too Twas a moment like this Do you remember it? And your eyes through a kiss When they met mine Now we own all the stars And a million guitars are still playing Darling, you are the song And you'll always belong Belong, 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 belong to my
ladies and gentlemen, get your tickets ready for the big drawing of the new Zoom V8, the super car of the continent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I care. Hurry, it's here. Huh? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'll give over the right. All right, here it is. The number is three, four. Yeah, one. Go, 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 Hold everything, folks. There's been a slight error. The winning number is three, four, two. ticket is not at the Murphy Brothers showroom by two o'clock, a new number will be drawn. So, hurry.
is probably enjoying a nice spin through the country in his new Zoom V8. Yes, the car that is streamlined with floating power. Super balloon tires and 25 miles to the gallon. Good luck, Mr. Duck. Yeah. 
constant labor to live in peace with his next door neighbor. And on the newcomer falls the chore of getting along with the man next door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Donald, your new neighbor. Here, Muncie, <gasps> catch! <laughs> you must be the new neighbor. I'll be right over, pal. Glad to meet you, neighbor. I wonder if I could borrow some ice cubes. Hmm? Ice cubes, Albert. Say, I can use a cube of butter, uh, some bullion cubes, cube steak, cheese, cucumbers, cantaloupes. Yeah, I can do that. That's right. <laughs> Thanks a million, buddy. Hi, neighbor. Try this. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, delicious. See? He eats it. <laughs> Trouble with you, Muncie. You're too finicky. Ah, springtime. The season of friendly cooperation among birds and yard birds. Hiya, neighbor. <laughs> Borrow your spade. Fork, trowel, sprayer, pruners, clippers. <laughs> Hey, neighbor! Your tools! <laughs> Friendship among neighbors is a beautiful thing, but it is as fickle as the wind. Neighborhood, wrong, wrong. Read all about it. War between neighbors. Eggs, 
everybody. This is your on-the-spot roving reporter, ready to bring you the fight of the century. All right, folks, now this is how it shapes up. The battle lines are drawn real fine. The fight's just beginning on the property line. They're getting set now. It's a tense moment. Red hot, get your red hot now. That big fellow in the poppy flower shorts. Uh-oh, he's lining up at the fence. Let's watch that property line, punk. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's really getting a big kick out of this. Nice going, Bat. <laughs> no take this, you little... I'll get you for It's a real seesaw battle, folks. No, I got you, punk! They're going great, Fats. You got him worried. Give him the old spike, Fats. He's gonna give you the old spike, Fats. All right, Duck. Now get in there and fill! Folks, that just about winds it up. Old Poppy Flower is moving. The little fellas won out. No, no! It's a draw! Thank <laughs> you. 
front. has a reverse headlock on muscle brain. He's using the rope for leverage. Oh, Nelly, look at that muscle brain bounce. Oh, that was a backward body slam. Hammerhead now moves quickly into position. That's a quarter Nelson taken from an arm bar position. Oh, 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 hey, hey, there they go again. Arms away. We've got a wild man in there tonight. Oh, oh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a brief word from our sponsor. Turkey's turkey's hot. Turkey's turkey's cold. Lurkey's turkeys taste good, nine days old. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, taste tested. Lurkey's turkeys are the turkeys of distinction. Each delicious bite, a gourmet delight. Lurkey's turkeys have been taste tested by the country's leading <coughs> tasters. Can't you just smell that tantalizing, that scintillating, nose tingling aroma? Mm -hmm. Can't you just taste the full-bodied, mouth-watering, golden-brown flavor of all those sealed-in natural juices? Hmm? They're so good and good for you. Lurkey's taste-tested turkey should be served on all occasions, hot or cold. Never in your life have you tasted anything to compare with these aristocrats of turkey dough. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, there should be a taste-tested Lurkey's turkey in every kitchen. And now, back to ringside.
have it, ladies and gentlemen. A taste-tested Lurkey's turkey, roasted to golden brown perfection, and just waiting to melt in your mouth. <laughs> Now, back to ringside. Oh, oh Peppa, hey, 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 there they go again. Oh, Nelly, look at that muscle brain bounce. Oh, we've got a wild man in there tonight. Oh, ho. Furthermore, Bellboy Duck, I have received more complaints about your conduct. Your personality is your worst enemy. Unless you stop insulting our guests, you are going to be fired. Yes, sir. Hereafter, when you're tempted to strike someone, take a look at this, our motto. The guest is always right. There's a guest now. Remember, you're on your good behavior. Yes, sir. The guest is always right. No, 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 no. More dignity. That's better. on the ball, eh? Yes. 
しょ。
who's your friend? <laughs> nice little kitty, 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 kitty. Let that mug bustle in. Who's it gonna be? You or him? Don't take that devil's bad advice. Be a good dog. Treat him nice. <laughs> ah, that guy talks in riddles. Look, he's stealing your grub. <laughs> now he's stealing your bed. And I told you the tree's a mob. You gotta get him out of here, see? Okay, stupid. Get a load of this. <laughs> hey, lay off the sentiment. Lay off. Now give him the wakes. <laughs> nice going, Sap. He'll take the rap. Hey, stupid! Come here! I know that sardine was gonna turn stool pigeon. Save him, Pluto. Save the poor little kitty. Be kind. Be merciful. Be. <laughs> Ah, let him drown. He got you kicked out, didn't he? You must save him. Nah, don't be a sap. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Ah, pipe down. You make me sick. <laughs> He's a pushover. <laughs>
Kindness to animals, my friend, will be rewarded in the earth. The end. Happy Royal Workers. Shall we sing our Loyal Royal Work song? We're royal, we're loyal, we'll always be joyful. We'll work hard and long, for to you we do belong. Today must be right, the customer is always right. We'll work, 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 our duties never So come now, we must work fast and time will pass. the minutes slip by when we keep our mind on our work. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's a good boy. Back to our work now. Wrap this one quickly. Wow, wow. Hmm. What's that? Night blooming narcissus? Oh no, it's come hither number five. Attention workers. I have some good news for you. Wow! Production has increased in every single department. Oh. Except one. What? 
the gift wrapping department. I start slow. Something will have to be done. Royal Royal brothers aren't happy. Yes, sir. And there's gonna do something about it. <laughs> Hurry up! Here's a rush order, Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck, we mustn't play with the toys. sure you won't mind staying to wrap a few more packages. Remember the royal spirit. Give me everything you've got. <coughs> Mr. Duck? Ouch! We can't have it all! Mr. Duck, stop it! Please, no, help! 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 Mr. Duck, please!